basically have to go 520 to win the day. <laughs> or if we go 30, we might get it second. Yeah. But other than that, we might just be holding strongly on to our third place. But we're going to give it our best. And we might be pushing it on the trailer. And we're getting ready to find out our new, how our new turbocharged cooling system is going to do. Because we're going to be hauling ass to get there in time. We got 250 miles. Should be about five hours of driving with us. So we're just waiting on everybody to get back here and be ready. And then we're going to hightail it out of here. More day, boys. You guys ready? Let's go. Run for the stand here. Well, we got a little drippy drip here. I, I thought I was smelling oil. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was transmission fluid at first, but I mean, I think it's engine oil. I mean, definitely. Changing the turbo thing. Gonna make it too long. Hopefully it works. I don't even know if we fix it or not. <laughs> We can't even figure out what was actually leaking, so we just changed the turbo drain and we tried to burp some more air out of the system. And we have a whole lot longer to go on our trip and still a lot of work to do before we get to make fast today. So we're gonna hightail it out of here before Frank comes home. He's gonna be pissed and go get get a pass in. Back. No. <laughs> what a challenging day, Jimmy Christmas. Like this is it's the end of the week and it always feels harder when it's the end of the week and you do this stuff, but like this day has been a tough day. It started off so smooth and easy and it was staying cool and we were happy, we thought we fixed it. And it didn't take long to once everything got hot outside, now it's just the uh, damn thing's hot. We just gotta drive slow, which is frustrating. It's nice to be able to just cruise 65, like the speed limit, and uh, like not have to worry about engine temp. So now we have to worry about engine temps. We have to drive slow. So we have like a line of 3,000 cars behind us. And yeah, it just gets frustrating. We're just hoping we just need to get it there, make a pass, hopefully in one piece, and uh, just keep third place. Like at the end of the day, if we can, you know, we really want to get third place. If we finish, that's awesome too, but we really want to get at least third place. So if we can get through and get that done, it'll all be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting extreme measures out here. We're pulling the hoods off of everything and strapping them onto the back. So it's been quite the adventure. Well, it's for cooler lids, so we'll yeah. use our freaking hoods. Come yeah, on with it. I might have to borrow your wrench from you after, after y'all get done.
this started out to be what I thought was our easiest drag week ever. A race week, whatever you want to call it. Less problems, like we were just cruising through. Okay, got like 225, no big deal. We'll just keep rolling, we can live and survive. And then, pow, right upside the face that we get smacked and we can't even cruise 50 mile an hour without going 240. The oil pressure is like, well, when we just put in, click in neutral, it's like 15. As soon as it cools down, it comes back up to 30. But yeah, I, mean, I was more worried about the oil pressure now than I was the coolant, honestly, because we need uh, the oil pressure is scarier than when it's that low. And even when we were rolling into it, it was only it wasn't quite doing 10 per thousand psi, which is what we need. So hopefully this hood off, we'll keep everything cool up front, and we can make it there in one piece. Make one 530 pass and put it in the trailer. Okay, one 520 pass and put it in the trailer, <laughs> so I can race again some other weekend. I don't want to do race week, bud. <laughs> uh, I love race week, but I don't think we're doing another one. <laughs> we're done. Have enough. You say that now until you sign up for the next one. Man, I wouldn't have signed up for this one if it wasn't for us wanting to take this to the mountains. All right, boy, you're just going back to uh, street racing or whatever, bare asphalt, anything but driving through 107 degree temperatures. That's the last thing on the list. It did minimal help. I mean, we didn't get over 240, so it, it did help some. Uh, a lot of the, uh, what we call it, hyper mileaging driving, the Florida and neutraling concept, uh, that helped probably the much as anything, but it's, it's a real pain in the ass because we're trying to find a hill and you're like, kind of like picking up speed and kind of flooring it a little downhill, slamming it neutral, coast, and then you're just playing that game back and forth and it just wears you out. I, it's just, this is not an enjoyable drive when you have to do this stuff, but I guess this is how it goes on race week, whatever it takes to finish. But uh, I tell you, they got this treat, street prep pretty good. <laughs> uh, I think we can go faster out here today than yeah. anywhere else. That is, she's, she's prepped out real nice. That was the ride over here in the air condition. Yeah, line. sometimes I have to turn the AC down a little bit. It gets a little cold, <laughs> get a little brain freeze. Um, but you know we're surviving eating chips hopefully we're not that far away we can only be like maybe 40, 40 or 50, 50 at yeah, most like that. we gotta be close they started racing an hour ago yeah it's click off the 520 and done i think the ray we're talking i think the radiator's jacked up because it's always ran kind of hot i mean like even when it was up front and it just had a single fan but we're just not getting any flow through it. Even with the pusher little super turbo pump at the back, we're not pushing through the radiator well. So I know I've trying to remember, you know, we lifted a head and torched the head the one time with that radiator. They say sometimes when that happens, you can, um, when it swells the cooling system, it'll actually collapse some of the fins. I mean, that one was, a, was an okay one, but I only torched one cylinder. None of the other gasket, none of the other parts of the gasket look bad. So maybe it's just a piece of shit from the jump. We'll fix it. We made it to the final track. I thought I was going to die today because it was 109 degrees outside on our way here. And the gap train was running about 245 degrees no matter what we did. And we could only go 40 miles an hour. And it took us forever to get here. But we're here. We got our tent set up so we got shade. I can finally cool off. We got taco party packs, mellow yellow, and water. And some ice. It's not gonna last long, but we got ice. Other than that, we're gonna try to make as fast of a pass as we can. Hopefully go a 30, maybe even faster. Um, and hopefully it survives. So we'll see what it does later. Holy cow. Some aren't too bad. I mean, relatively speaking. Looks like crap. All the straps are still there. And I know what they're doing. You need a 521 to beat it. It's a matchup, basically. So 20 zero. Yeah. We'll go a 520 on 40 pounds. Forty pounds, twenty degrees time, you boys.
106 at 118. Oh, I, went, I went 946 at 142 in the quarter. I told you. Oh, <laughs> 118. You never had her cranked no, up before, it, bud. It, 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 did that, it did that before I let out. It sounds like that. No. 
done. Just, yeah, down. just sprayed. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Shape. Done. Turn it up. Done. Oh, oh damn. I split, the, I split the exhaust on that run. Oh, dude. And he's got this insane S10. I've never seen anything like it. We're going to get him to explain a little bit about why he did it this way, what it runs, and what about the technical aspects of a setup like this. So, why the turbo sticking up over the... So, I don't know if we can ramp, I tried to try to ramp it in faster, I don't know if we can ramp it in faster. It's kind of like all it can do. Did you tighten your shocks at all? No, I have not yet. I'm not the captain of this ship, huh? You are the yeah, captain, Joey. Joey. You pilot the ship. Yeah, I'm driving the ship, but I don't control the controls. Yeah. Close enough. Joey. Capcola. Arrivederci. Fresh boys. Arrivederci. Fresh boys. Well, keep these, I guess. We're changing the plugs. Put more plugs in. I don't know why we're changing them, because he's not putting any more timing in. If he dies, he dies. He just told me he put another degree in. I never agreed to give him my motor though, so that's on him. Skip the 30s and the 20s and go right to a 19. Yep. Ask the man. 519 with a 7. Following it. 136. Okay. I mean, I'm cool with that. We added timing and boost, so it's a perfect recipe for disaster or a hero run. I'm going for the hero run.
that ran 240 degrees all day today and tried to die every second. 10 psi oil pressure half the day. Um, <laughs> I yeah. dumping oil out of the turbo yeah, drain. Yeah, we had to fix the turbo drain. <laughs> dumped a bunch of oil out of the turbo drain. I had to fix that. Oh to man, this is so bad. Yelling at each other all the time. Yeah, that's how we communicate. Dude, we than that first day. If we yeah. would have gotten just one more pass, it was like for the first day, you had the best average yeah. anyway. I just think it's really neat that we were able to do it with this truck that isn't made to do this kind of racing. And we have this little stock motor and no one else has a little stock motor. Um, that's just really cool. Or at least get third, maybe second. We'll figure, we'll find out.